If you want to be an elite defender, it's important to increase your foot speed and strength. While some may say it's impossible to increase your lateral quickness by a substantial amount, after watching this video, you'll learn that couldn't be further from the truth. Doing drills like lateral shuffle slides is a pretty good fundamental drill for defense, but my only problem with that is it really doesn't simulate game-like movements. Playing lockdown defense isn't just about moving side to side quickly. Take this possession for example. When Davian Mitchell was slightly beat, he doesn't shuffle laterally to get back into the play. Instead, he turns and runs. The reason he did this is simple. It's faster. Then as the ball handler resets and drives, watch how Mitchell opens up at a diagonal angle. Now he's sort of in between a shuffle and a sprint, making sure he keeps his chest square with the ball handler. There are multiple things we can learn from this possession. The first thing is, in order to be a great on-ball defender, you have to be able to accelerate and decelerate. Watch how many times Mitchell went from slow to fast. Olympic sprinters usually start off slow out the blocks and pick up speed as they go further into the race. But in basketball, it's totally different. You need to be able to almost come to a full stop and back to a full sprint multiple times in a single possession. Accelerating and decelerating can be taxing for a player and on his body, especially for longer periods of time. But there are ways you can train this. My favorite exercise for this is doing slow to fast sprints. All you have to do is jog at an extremely slow pace and then accelerate off of that for like half a second then go right back into a slow jog. If you do this for an entire length of a basketball court or football field, you will be absolutely drained. Being able to do this throughout the game easily, going slow to fast automatically makes you a better on-ball defender. Because elite offensive players love doing speed changes in their dribbles in order to throw defenders off. But if you're just as good as them at slowing down and speeding back up, it will be a lot easier to stay in front of them. And yes, this all ties into having quick, reactive feet. The next tip that can increase your lateral quickness is learning how to shuffle into a crossover step. A crossover step is performed by crossing your leg over the other. I know this isn't ideal that most players are taught to never cross your feet on defense, but in reality, every elite defender does it. The reasoning for this is it's faster than lateral slide for most defenders. One important rule when doing this is always to keep your chest square with the ball handling. That time in the follow through was better than what I've seen from Austin River. This next tip may surprise some of you, and I've never really heard anyone talk about it. But jumper up in his hands down one of the best ways to increase foot speed. A few years ago, I was an amateur boxer, so jumper open at least 20 minutes per day was a normal part of my routine. And after doing this every day for a long period of time, I noticed it immediately translated over to the basketball court, especially on defense. And after doing some research, I found out why. Jump rope strengthens the muscles that are around your ankle joints, making your ankles and feet stronger and more durable. It also teaches you to stay on the balls of your feet and avoid being flat-footed. So when you hit the court, staying on your toes will become second nature. Another reason it's so effective is that it drastically improves your coordination, which allows you to be incredibly light on your feet. Another great drill is something I picked up from Jimmy Butler and Doug McDermott, and it's called the mirror drill. Basically, in this clip, Doug McDermott is working on his defense and he's trying to shadow Jimmy Butler. This drill works on various different things such as lateral quickness, reaction time, and anticipation. The last tip is to get better at anticipating players' moves and movements. This is why players like 2017 Clay Thompson and Matisse Thybo are such elite lockdown defenders, despite not having the quickest feet. The IQ is so high that they're able to be a couple steps at the ball handler, which results to make up for that lack of foot speed. And I'm not saying they have slow feet, but it's definitely much slower when comparing them to someone like Davian Mitchell or Drew Holiday. The last exercise to increase your foot speed is using the agility ladder. The agility ladder and jump rope is a deadly combination, trust me. It doesn't really matter which footwork drills you do on the ladder because they all have the same purpose. But my personal favorite is the icky shuffle. But that'll be all for today's video. Hopefully these tips helped you. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below.